the Assistant Secretary General and UN Women's Deputy Executive Director for Policy, Program, Civil Society and Intergovernmental Support. Esteemed panelists and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, Bula Vinaka and a warm greetings from the Blue Pacific and Fiji. I am indeed delighted to be part of this high-level panel. Firstly, I would like to applaud the release of the Global Report on Tracking Gender Equality in Government Responses to COVID-19 and express on behalf of the Government of Fiji our gratitude to the UN Women for their continued efforts in moving towards the goal of gender equality and empowerment of all women and girls. I am very proud to be of the recognition that Fiji has received to the report for being successful in integrating gender-based violence measures across COVID-19 pandemic responses and plans. Colleagues, in Fiji as elsewhere, the impacts of COVID-19 are being disproportionately felt by women who earn less than men have less saved and work in jobs with little security or protection. These preconditions coupled with the increased unpaid work from additional caring responsibilities at home and spikes in the already high rates of gender-based violence. There has been too a significant increase in calls to the Domestic Violence National Helpline. Colleagues, two in three women in Fiji have experienced physical and or sexual violence from a male intimate partner in their lifetime. One in five women have experienced sexual harassment in a workplace. One in three women in Fiji have experienced physical and or sexual violence from a man who is not their partner. This equates to almost double the global average. And if I have to say it in our Prime Minister's words, this is a national shame. The government of Fiji recognizes its obligation to prevent gender-based violence. And we are committed in working closely with Fijian women, men, boys and girls, as well as many experts and individuals and organizations to tackle this blight on our nation. And in such context, we rolled out our efforts and immediate responses to COVID-19 and tropical cyclones to ensure access to quality response for all women and girls and survivors. Firstly, we formed a COVID-19 response gender working group. The working group was led by my ministry and included representatives of civil societies and women's rights organization as well as UN Women. The working group developed a gender and COVID-19 guidance note in May 2021 and this was noted by cabinet. It highlighted the gendered impacts of COVID-19 in Fiji on selected sectors and issues such as violence against women and girls with brief analysis and recommendations. A gender-based violence working group has been formed under the Fiji Safety and Protection Cluster to rapidly advance prevention and response to violence against women and girls during emergencies in partnership with frontline service providers. The gender-based working group rapidly developed information, education and communication materials such, such as a resource kit and virtual trainings for frontline healthcare workers, community workers and helpline social welfare and other frontline gender-based violence responders during COVID-19 and tropical cyclone emergency response period. We also developed a national gender-based violence prevention communication campaign, starting with texting messages sent to all mobile phone users across Fiji. Prevention and gender-based violence service messages from national and community leaders to be shared through radio, television and online during the 16 days campaign in November as well as posters, stickers, and other materials. I shall highlight too that with the existing National Service Delivery Protocol, Fiji is well positioned to provide coordinated responses to ensure the provision of appropriate, timely, and quality services for victims and survivors of gender-based violence. The protocol guides the work of the gender-based violence service providers to a standard of care and promote safety, confidentiality, non-discrimination, respect, strong accountability and zero tolerance for violence. Last but not the least, the Ministry of Women, Children and Poverty Elevation continued its effort to lead the consultation and development of a five-year whole-of-government national action plan to prevent violence against women and girls, making it the first Pacific Island country and one of the only two countries globally to have a whole-of-government inclusive, evidence-based approach to prevent violence against our women and girls. The consultations for the National Action Plan 
moved forward in 2021 virtually, continuing engagements and awareness across multiple sectors and settings. Dear colleagues, during this process, we were reminded again that it is not only key to initiate the rapid uh, working responses to a crisis, but it is also crucial to move strategically and most importantly in coordination, collaboration and partnership with all our stakeholders, in particular women's rights and community-based organizations. In addition, there is no single fixed solution or plan that will erase the entrenched and often unconscious systems of gender biases in our societies. There must be many fixes tailored to a specific condition that prevail in each of our countries and each of the regions. I thank you all.